Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. A 15-year-old is accused of murdering a family member. We have the details on the tragedy. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7 tonight. I'm Lena Bleets. We begin with top stories sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. A 15-year-old boy is accused of fatally stabbing his sister on Saturday night. Metro Police said officers found 21-year-old Vanessa Fuentes suffering from apparent stab wounds. She was pronounced dead at the scene inside an apartment on the 1000 block of North Pecos Road. Her teenage brother was arrested and booked into the Clark County Juvenile Detention Center on a charge of open murder. What remains of the Tropicana is set to come down in just 22 seconds at 2.30 a.m. on Wednesday morning. There will be no public viewing areas, but we have a few workarounds. The foundation room on the 63rd floor of Mandalay Bay is hosting a sold-out viewing party, and Ellis Island is holding a party of its own. New York, New York and the MGM Grand have parking garages with unobstructed views, but MGM Resorts has not said whether it will allow access. There are also several parks in Summerlin and Centennial Hills that have great views of the Strip. And if you don't want to leave the house, I'll be hosting our live coverage of the event at LVRJ.com. Even if you're not planning to watch the implosion, you might want to make note of the road closures. According to Clark County, roads around the Tropicana will be shut down at 11 p.m. Tuesday, with the general boundaries being between Park Avenue to the north, Mandalay Bay Road to the south, Koval Lane to the east, and Frank Sinatra Drive to the west. Additionally, Reno Avenue and Frank Sinatra to Koval will be closed by 12.30 a.m. The roads are scheduled to reopen by 6 a.m. Wednesday. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your gardens partner for every blooming thing. Cooling down tonight with a low of 71 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Some of those clouds should stick around tomorrow with a high of 100 and a low dropping down to 69. The sunshine returns Wednesday with a high of 99 and low of 67 and continuing to cool down. Partly cloudy skies expected the rest of the week with a high of 98 and low of 71 Thursday and a high of 96 and low of 68 on Friday and Saturday, then continuing to drop down to the low 90s and even the high 80s next week. In Business, brought to you by G Bank, your best banking experience ever. Resort Corridor employees could soon have a new option for getting to their jobs during Las Vegas Grand Prix weekend. Cynthia Puga has more details. On Tuesday, the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority Board is considering a contract with TLC Luxury Transportation for a three-year initial term for 2025 through 2027 with optional extensions for 2028 and 2029. The agenda item says this service would be similar to the one that transported workers during last year's Formula One race. Employees would park at the Las Vegas Convention Center during race weekend and take shuttles to get to their jobs in the resort corridor. Road work has already started for this year year's Las Vegas Grand Prix and the intersection of Flamingo Road and Koval Lane will be closed October 14th through the 19th as crews work to build a temporary bridge. Sports sponsored by PT's Taverns, your place to watch all the sports action. With over 65 locations, there's a PT's near you. Visit PTSTaverns.com. The Rebels once again are unranked. UNLV falls out of the AP Top 25 college football poll after a heartbreaking overtime loss to Syracuse. The Quinn Allen was the man who broke through for the Orange in overtime, capping off a monster night with four total touchdowns. Now the Rebels have to regroup after this loss and head on the road to take on Utah State in yet another Mountain West matchup this season. Kickoff for that one is set for 6 p.m. this Friday. In Health, brought to you by Center Well Senior Primary Care. Discover primary care focused on you. In honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Golden Knights defenseman Shea Theodore and Comprehensive Cancer Centers are teaming up once again for K's Power Play. In partnership with Susan G. Komen, Nevada, K's Power Play is a fund which aims to raise awareness and maximize access to preventative care as well as provide education and financial resources for breast cancer patients. As a cancer survivor himself, Theodore started Kay's Power Play in honor of his grandmother who passed away in 2020 from breast cancer. She was a huge part of our life. Um, I love hear, hearing more uh, 
you know about people finding out about it um, you know the, the money goes to a, a great cause and um, you know can help so many people for more information visit cccnevada.com slash k's dash power dash play vegas station brought to you by station casinos stn sports download the app today the Devontae Adams situation has fallen silent over the weekend after the Raiders lost to the Broncos on Sunday. Now, the star wide receiver is still yet to be traded after the news broke last week that the Silver and Black were exploring trade options and that Adams felt the same way. Adams has missed two straight games nursing a hamstring injury and Monday following the team's loss in Denver. Head coach Antonio Pierce had this to say regarding where things went wrong and where the situation with Adams lies now. I don't know. I think. I got to ask Devontae that. It's status quo. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Boise State running back Ashton GT is the new consensus favorite to win the Heisman Trophy after Alabama's stunning loss to Vanderbilt on Saturday. Dropped Crimson Tide quarterback Jalen Milrow from the favorite to the plus 950 fourth choice at the Caesars Sportsbook. GT on pace to break Barry Sanders' single season rushing record is a plus 270 favorite at Caesars to win the Heisman. Colorado two-way star Travis Hunter is a plus 310 second choice, and Miami quarterback Cam Ward is a plus 380 third pick. In your lifestyle news, brought to you by LV Craft Shows, has been bringing you the finest craft and gift shows since 1999. Visit lvcraftshows.com for our upcoming events. If you're looking for a place to brunch, we've got some suggestions for you. Bardo Brasserie from celebrated chef Michael Mina recently introduced about 15 dishes and cocktails, including salmon carpaccio, seasonal French toast with strawberries, and a Royale steak burger. Spago from chef Wolfgang Puck also has new offerings like poached organic eggs with smoked salmon, a gulf shrimp ceviche tostada, and a spicy lychee martini. Other hot brunch spots include Toca Madera in the shops at Crystal's, Snooze AM Eatery, and Gypsy Nightclub. Now for entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's with live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. A massive merger of fashion, music, art, and food is making its Las Vegas debut next month. Entertainment columnist John Katzlamidis has the details. Complex Con Las Vegas is making its premiere just before Formula One in Las Vegas on November 16th and 17th. This is a merger of fashion, music, and food with headliner Travis Scott also serving as artistic director. Scott is a Sunday night headliner and also presenting Cactus Con during the event, which is a nod to his apparel brand, Cactus Jack. Playboy, Cardi, Opium, and Metro Boomin join Scott on the roster of headliners. More than 60,000 attendees are expected to participate. Complex Con was founded in Long Beach in 2016 and is a shopping bonanza for all ticket holders. Thanks for watching 7 at 7 tonight. Watch 7 at 7 twice a day, Monday through Friday, and search Review Journal to follow us on your favorite streaming platform. See you tomorrow morning for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.